Hello everyone, my name is Sudindra. I'm a solutions architect here at Apogee. The purpose of this video is to show you how to use the message logging policy in Apogee Edge to push log messages into Logly. To configure this, let's create an API proxy. Okay. Once you have the API proxy ready, switch to the developer tab. Attach the message logging policy onto the response flow. Just to save some time, I will copy an existing configuration and replace the default configuration that I get as part of the policy. As you can see, the syslog section has three segments message, host, and port configurations. Host and port configurations represent the endpoint that Logly expose for TCP and UDP based syslogging. The first part of the message contains the consumer or the customer token that is generated by Logly. When you configure your message logging policy, you need to change it to your customer token. The second part of the message contains the pen or the private enterprise number for Logly. It is required for all the messages that you push to Logly. Tag is an important configuration for you to segment your logging and also it helps you in filtering and searching your logs in Logly. So in my case, I have organization name, environment name and also the API proxy name as part of the tag. Importantly, the last part of the message is the actual message that you want to push to Logly. In my case, I have a response content which is being pushed to Logly. Save the configurations. Switch to the trace tab. And make a call. As you can see, my call is successful. If I click on the message logging policy here, I can see that the actual message which got pushed to Logly. If I go to Logly and refresh the screen, I can see that the message has been pushed successfully. All right, let's summarize what we did. We created an API proxy in Apigee Edge. We attached a message logging policy we configured the message logging policy with your with our customer token and also the message and then we made an api call that pushed messages onto logly if you want to read more detailed steps on how to configure message logging policy for logly please refer to the blog post on our community that is community.apigee.com thank you for listening